If you want to talk to Andy Fangerson, who is by the way a skin that you can unlock by buying the new LEGO Mini Pass for 1400 V-Bucks, you'll get this skin right here and of course it's LEGO variant. All you gotta do is just uh, like make your way to this spot right here, let me just ping it, it's gonna be Grimgate. So instead of the Cerberus NPC which we had during the uh, Myths and Morals like uh, season, now we have a different type of wolf at Grimgate as you can see right here. And you can talk to them, like I said, to either get yourself the Chainsaw item, which is very useful for uh, the current like Fortnite Mass Quest. You can get the Hammer Pump Shotgun, the epic version for 300 gold. You can get yourself healed up or you can just ask him about uh, either shape shifting or sports. Alright, pretty cool. So again, this is the exact location, and yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Artemis, Goddess of the Hunt, which is basically the uh, like God of the Hunt that was in Season 2 of Chapter 5. She's still here, by the way. So she's going to be located at this train station right here. So train stations are back, and even the train is back. You can see like the icon for him. So the train is going to be circling the map, and you can actually do the train heist and everything that you used to be able to do in Season 1, which is kind of awesome. I missed the train last season, man. So here we go, this is the train station as you can see. Okay, this glider makes a lot of noise. <laughs> I just noticed. It's funny, but it does make a lot of noise. Here we are. So this is Artemis as you can see. And you can talk to her to get yourself the combat assault rifle for 300 gold. You can hire Artemis for 200 gold. Uh, she's a um, like a, a scanner. She basically just scans other uh, players around you every few minutes. And you can ask her about the Pantheon, Doom, or Hope and Valeria. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Bright Raider, she's going to be at the same location as the previous season in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, which is going to be this little, like, tiny little island, like, off the shore. And she's going to be right over here, so south of Nitrodrome, south of Redline Raid, and R Brutal Beachhead, which I should visit and see what they did with the, uh, with the PUIs. Hopefully they're not deserted. Here we are. Oh, actually, this guy might not be friendly. Really? Really, man? Okay. We'll go back to talking to the characters. So this is Bright Raider, as you can see. You can get the dual micro SMGs from her for 300 gold, or you can get shockwave grenades for 100 gold, or you can ask her about uh, Bitey, Sand, and Doctor Doom. All right, pretty cool. If you want to talk to Captain Jonesy, all you gotta do is just make your way to this spot right over here. You're gonna find him inside of this house. So he's been moved. He is no longer at the previous building, which was all the way over here. Let me just show you on the map. So he was at this spot right here, but now they moved him all the way over here next to the uh, like middle lake right here. You can just go ahead and talk to him. He's going to offer the same services. So this is your location and you can get the Captain America's shield from him for 300 gold. You can get the Monarch pistol for 300 gold. You can get healed up or you can just ask him about random stuff like Doom, the Hope and the Oracle. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Centurion, you need to make your way to this spot right over here, this island, north of the map and north of Doomstadt, as you can see right here. So that's where you're going to find this NPC. So let's go ahead and talk to them. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Man, I really love this Gwenpool skin, dude. She's so beautifully made. Here we go. So this is Centurion, as you can see. And you can talk to them to either get yourself the Striker Burst Rifle or the Monarch Pistol. Or, of course, you can hire them for ammunition, I believe. He's very strong in terms of ammunition. And you can do the, uh, you can use the Monarch Pistol for the, uh, like, the new quest lines. You can do this with that. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Dark Ruby, you need to make your way to this spot right over here on the map. It's going to be Rebel's Roost right in front of it. It's going to be like roaming around and you can talk to her to either get yourself the uh, Chainsaw, which is a very OP item or some Shield Bubble Juniors for 120 gold. Again, this is the Chainsaw as you can see. It is a prerequisite to do a lot of the Fortnite requests, which like it asks you like to either like deal damage with it or even just use it to move around by right clicking as you can see right here. Uh, so yeah, like I said, if you want this, all you gotta do is just make your way to the north side of the map right over here. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Edward Scissorhands, all you gotta do is just make your way to Grand Glacier right in front of it next to the uh, like maze garden, as you can see. And just make your way there and you'll find Edward Scissorhands right over here. Here we go. And you can just simply talk to them and you can get the uh, Witch Broom Mythic for 200 gold. You can get the, uh, you can get like patched up if you are missing HP. Or you can just ask him about uh, play scissors, paper, stone. Or you can just ask him about to topiaries if you want to. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Gwenpool, you need to make your way all the way to Reckless Wheels. In my shabby little car who has been shot at so many times. But here we are. So this is the Gwenpool location. She's going to be inside this building. 
a their gwen pool and you can just simply talk to her as you can see right here and yeah she's basically part of the uh like quest lines so this is the exact location that you can go in order to talk to her right here west of record railways like i said inside of this building next to the parking lot and yeah that's it if you want to talk to hope she's still going to be at the sandy steps house right over here so she's going to be a little bit in zone but we should be able to make it and i do have a med kit so i should be able to survive here we go so this is the hope uh like py there she is oh my god dude it's bugging out so this is the new uh heroic hope oh my god you i love this skin so you can get the striker burst assault rifle for 300 gold you can get the monarch pistol for 300 gold as well or you can just ask her about prophecies which is dope so yeah that's it if you want to talk to iron man mk45 which is the new character right over here so this is old iron man talking to the new iron man i really really like that so you can go ahead and go find him right over here on this location it's going to be this windmill location between grimgate and doomstad there we go Man, this is hectic, dude. <laughs> so, luckily we didn't hit Iron Man. So, we can still talk to him. I think that's a bot. We're gonna ignore him. Oh, and he doesn't want to ignore us. So, we'll just eliminate him. There we go. So, let's talk to Iron Man. So, you can get the Stark Industries Energy Rifle from him from 300 gold. You can get the uh, Iron Man uh, Reposal thingies. And you can get healed. And, of course, you can just ask him about either Iron Man or Doom. Which is absolutely awesome. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Mephisto, you need to make your way to the underworld, as you can see right here. Which, obviously, as you can see, it is all red. Like, the River of Sticks is no longer green. It is completely red in celebration of Mephisto's arrival. So, it's going to be at the throne room right over here. So, this is uh, Mephisto's exact location. It's going to be northwest of the entire map. And yeah, Mephisto is kind of a unique character because he gives you uh, kind of like deals, basically making deal with the devil. So you can talk to him to either get like uh, offer 20 of health for a randomized weapon. So if I give him 20 of my health, I will get a random weapon as you can see right here. Let me just grab one of these. I think he's going to shoot me. Yep, <laughs> of course. Oh, he has like a shield beh behind him. Where do you go? So, like I said, you either give 20 of your health for uh, for a random weapon, or you can, if you are playing in squad mode, as you can see, it is uh, like disabled. You can give 99 of your health to literally revive your entire squad, which kind of sucks, but at least you get all of your squads back. And don't worry that 90, the 99 reduction in your health is not permanent. You can always just heal up again with the med kit. And you can, of course, talk to him about, let me see, Cynthia Von Doom. Oh my god, dude. And Dr. Doom. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, again, this is uh, uh, this is uh, Mephisto and this is his exact location right over here. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Nightmare, you need to make your way to the top of Mount Olympus Mountain, which now like the statue of has a pumpkin head, <laughs> which I just noticed. So if you go behind the statue, you'll find the newest NPC right over here. Let me actually grab a weapon here just in case somebody shows up with uh like not the best intentions here we go just heal up here a little bit all right so there's the npc right over there i think the name is nightmare if i'm not mistaken yeah there we go so this is uh them so we can just talk to them so you can either get yourself oh my god the epic sovereign shotgun for 300 gold you can get some shock uh, grenades which are very useful to get out of here for 100 gold or you can just ask them about their favorite prey or their hunting story so again the exact location for this npc is going to be right over here so they're going to be roaming around behind the statue right over here at mount olympus southeast of the entire map and yeah that's pretty much it if you want to talk to nisha you need to make your way to this spot right over here on the map as you can see and we're going to find the Nisha NPC, which is back on the map. So it's going to be at this train station. So apparently she joins the society according to the lore. Here she is. Hey there. So you can talk to her to either get yourself the combat assault rifle, the flow barrier phase for 100 gold, the combat is 300 gold, or you can just ask her about the underground, hope, or the future. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Peabody, he's going to be at the same gas station as last season. So it's going to be right next to the like desert PUI. So it's going to be that house right over there. Here we are. Oh, I see somebody. 
I see two people in a car. I think we're safe. Let me get out of this car. Just go to uh, Peabody. Oh, he's, he's upstairs. <laughs> Here we go. Hey there, buddy. So this is Peabody, as you can see. And you can talk to them to either get yourself the Hammer Pump Shotgun, which a lot of people want as the new shotgun for the season. Or you can get the Shield Bowl Jr. for 150 gold. The Pump Shotgun is 300, by the way. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Pilly Bone, you need to make your way to uh, Restored Reels right over here at the south side of it. As you can see, it's going to be in the middle of the map. And you can simply just talk to them to either get yourself, uh, let's see. So we can get the flow berry for 50 gold per uh, two flow berries. You can activate prop disguise, which I haven't done in a while now. You can become a bush, as you can see right here. It's pretty dope. Or you can just simply ask him about, oh, let me just exit this. You can ask him about uh, scary movies. All right, pretty cool. So again, this is the exact location right here at Resort Reels. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Pumpkin King, you need to make your way to this spot right over here at Restored Wheels. It's going to be north of uh, the map and, or the PUI itself. And you're going to find him, like, uh, I guess, roaming around these stairs. And you can talk to them to either get yourself the legendary pumpkin shotgun. Uh, sh launcher, sorry, not shotgun. Which is absolutely awesome, dude. So 800 gold for this, dude. That's very expensive. You can activate a rift or you can just ask him about Zero or the Pumpkin King. I don't know what Zero is. Zero, my trusted ghost dog. Oh, okay. I guess it's just from the franchise. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic idea. Again, this is the exact location on the map. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Ruckus, you want to make your way to this spot right over here. It's going to be this like metallic uh, shipyard uh, south of Brolo's Battleground and Redline Rig, as you can see right here. And once you make your way there, you're going to find Ruckus. He's an explosive specialist, so you can hire him and he's going to throw explosives at uh, opponents, which is dope. Also, if you're playing like build mode, this is like one of the best places to farm metal. Here we are. So this is Ruckus, as you can see. Let me just get this way. And let's talk to them. So you can get yourself the epic hammer pump shotgun for 300 gold, which is a very, uh, like, uh, like a very popular shotgun this season. Or you can hire Ruckus again for 200 gold. Or you can just ask him about Ruckus the Rabbiter, which is himself, I suppose. And yeah, that's the basic idea. If you want to talk to Rust, you need to make your way to this house right over here, which used to be a society hideout, I think, or an underground hideout. I forget which one. But basically, he's going to be hiding right over here. Not really hiding, but like roaming the PUI. Here we go. So there he is right there. Again, this glider really makes a lot of noise, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Okay, here we are. So this is Rust. And you can get the Sovereign Shotgun from them. For uh, 300 gold, you can get the shock of grenades for 100 gold. Or you can just ask them about the wasteland or doom. It's up to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to talk to Shuri, you need to make your way to this like gas station right over here. So this is Shuri, as you can see. Ooh, she does a remote. That's dope, man. That's really dope. The only thing I don't like is the cape. The cape is kind of off, but the suit itself is super awesome. So if you want to find Shuri, you just need to make your way to this spot right here. East of Nitro Drome, as you can see right there. Ooh. Oh my god, I think it's a bot. Okay, I thought I aggroed Shuri there for a second. Hopefully I did not. So, we just need to talk to her. And uh, you can get the Shuri's Black Panther Claws from her, which is the epic version. You can get a Flowberry Fizz uh, for 50. The uh, B Black uh, Panther Claws are 300 gold. You can also activate a Rift out of here for 250 gold. And of course, you can just ask her about Black Panther, Vibranium, or T'Challa, which is absolutely awesome. I really love the lore here, man. So you can grab the uh, Black Panther Claws and just simply Rift and, you know, become a, an absolute uh, monster on the map. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to a triage trooper, you need to make your way to this little hut right over here next to the lake. So he's finally back. Uh, believe it or not, this character was supposed to be in the game uh, since the start of this new season. He was here for around two hours and then Epic Games literally just decided to remove him from the game itself. So all you gotta do is just make your way to this spot right here. Just simply talk to them to either uh, like hire triage trooper for 200 gold. He gives you HP by the way, he heals you. I think he throws uh, chuck splashes at you. You can also buy the Hyper SMG, the Epic version for 300 gold. Or you can just ask him about uh, random stuff like Field Surgeon and Saskia. Okay, I'm kind of I'm intrigued. Field Surgeon hired Saskia to find me. Uh, she's not too happy about something I did, someone I saved, but even after everything he did, he was still hurt. God or not, I help those who need me. Oh, I think he helped one of the gods from season one. Okay, that's dope. So yeah, that's the basic idea. 
if you want to talk to War Machine, you need to make your way to this train station right over here. So it's going to be west of Doom Courtyard or Doom's Courtyard. So he's going to be right here, as you can see. He's usually on top of the bridge. Sometimes he's uh, patrolling underneath. Here we are. So this is War Machine, as you can see, in all of his glory. Ooh, I like that pose. You can get a combat assault rifle for 300 gold. You can get the shield bubble junior for 120. Or you can ask him about himself, I guess, like about War Machine himself. I don't know what this guy is doing, man. Okay, you want to die that badly? All right, follow me. Come on. Yeah. Come on, keep following. There we go. Okay, now it's not such a good idea. Really? <laughs> All right, so we get this a bit. So War Machine is going to be again right over here. As you can see, he is going like up the bridge. And yeah, that's it. 